And here it is. Whoa, okay, I was okay, I was not expecting this. There's a new speed optimization plugin out there on the block, and this one is interesting because first, it's free, and second, it is from a well-known team. The same team that created Block Vault, WP Remote, Malcare, and one of my favorite plugins of last year, Migrate Guru. And this plugin is called Airlift. It's an all-new free speed optimization plugin for WordPress. And quick disclaimer, this is a sponsored video, so what I'm gonna be doing here is walking you through the setup process and showing you how this works, so that way you can get started and give it a try. But I do got something I think you're going to find very interesting in this video as well and that is i had a call with the founder of airlift and i got a lot of good inside information from behind the scenes on how this plugin works and let me just tell you that it is a lot different from other speed optimization plugins i found it really interesting i think you are too as well i'm going to share it with you inside this video so let's go ahead and get started to get started, there is a link inside the description that'll take you over to Airlift. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is sign up. I've already signed up, so it's just gonna log me in. You're gonna come over here to your dashboard. I've already been testing it. I got a couple of sites, tester sites right here, but what I'm gonna do is add a real live site that I have not optimized yet. So I'm gonna go here to add site and let me grab it. I'm gonna be optimizing this site. This is a site that I built for my course, Design with Elementor. This has Elementor, it has WooCommerce, and I threw in a bunch of other plugins as well, like a lot of WooCommerce plugins, just to make it a bit more bloated so we could see you know, what we could do with this. All right, let's go ahead and add in the link here. The next step is you're gonna to want to download the plugin right here under Manual Installation. Next, let's install the plugin. Let me keep this open. I'm gonna go to my plugins and add it. Then we just need to upload the plugin, activate. And now you're automatically gonna be logging into the dashboard from your website. And right off the bat, it starts the optimization immediately. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but what it's doing is it's crawling through your website, it's getting everything ready, and it's starting the actual optimization. And we're back, that took about four and a half minutes, and whoa, I was not expecting this. I mean, all the way up to 100. All right, we're gonna have to test this though. We're gonna make sure, but so far this is looking pretty good. Now, first it's gonna show you where your site is standing and mine was at a 69. This is for this website here. I did not optimize it and I did not run any practice optimizations at all. So everything you're seeing here is the first time that I'm seeing it optimized inside Airlift. I wanna get a real life feel for it. Now, right off the bat, we could see that the page load comparison, it started off at 3.9 megabytes and it was reduced by 71%. And then the request count. Wow, this is pretty good right here from 80 to a 26. That is pretty good. Now we can see that it is still optimizing. It takes quite a bit of time, I'm sure, because if it's a bigger site, you know, it's going to have more pages. This site has 24 pages and so far it's optimized 11 and it's also still optimizing the images. Before I ran the optimization, I tested this inside Google Page Speed Insights and inside GT Metrics. And then if we look at Page Speed Insights, uh, 67, and then we're looking at a speed index of 9.2 seconds for mobile and then 3.7 seconds for desktop. So let's go ahead and run this again. And I'm also going to run this one again as well now that it's been optimized. And let's see, let's see how these numbers look. Now the numbers that I'm looking for are the page speed. All right, I wanna see, did this really speed up? We, are, we could already see here that the grade went up to 100, but I wanna see the actual page speed. And here it is, whoa, okay, I was, Okay, I was not expecting this. So not only do we get a 99 for mobile, but check this out. We have a 2.6 seconds speed index. It was at a over eight seconds. So to me, this is what matters. I don't care if this is a B or C. I mean, of course we want it to be an A, but really it doesn't make sense if this is an A 
and that this right here is like really slow so this is what we want to see the actual results so this definitely sped up wow that is crazy and then in desktop mobiles actually got a better score than desktop that is very rare to see but check this out our first contextual paint at 0.3 and speed index 1.3 seconds this looks like it's going to pass core web vitals right here and it's not tricking the system we're actually making this faster like i've seen some plugins that will give you an a score but you still have like a 10 second load time which is really not speeding up the website but okay this works like this is pretty dope let's check out over here in gt metrics and a hundred percent this is a hundred look at that less than a second for the lcp that is really good even the cls is at a 0 0.04 that's crazy so we're looking really good now it's showing that this works we see it right here let's see now how this actually works now back here inside my airlift dashboard i went over here to sites and first you can see that it's still optimizing it takes quite a bit of time but we could still go in here and we could check out our performance and i'm going to show you how to manage this because at first when i came back here i was a little bit confused uh but i'm going to walk you through that so that way it is really clear now first off if you're just using airlift only worry about the performance right here a lot of this back end is something that you would see on something like wp remote and other services and features and plugins that the team of airlift also provides so we're going to only focus on the performance for right now we have two options right here from the jump we could disable it you know if something does break we want to go back we could just disable it that way we could do our fixes and then you could purge your cache as well in the back end over here we have only really one option that we could do on the website which is to purge the cache completely even if we were to go over to our settings it is only going to give us an option to go to our dashboard the team of airlift they designed this so all of the heavy use of what they are doing inside of their plugin inside this technology is done off site a really interesting fact about this plugin is that it took three years and five engineers to build let's go over here to performance now to manage everything go to the icon here your gear icon and now we can see all of our settings first up our optimization details right here this is really dope so let's say something breaks on your site afterwards like something isn't looking right you could go back you could visit the original page uncached unoptimized and see how this looks and then you could actually compare it to the optimized page as well first off this is going to show us all the information right here so we could see how much was optimized right here and then we could also see the other things that were done so we have our image resizing and webp conversion that's automatic our image lazy loading and image optimized so this does work as an image optimizer and then we could see exactly how much was optimized here next up we could take a look at our css optimizations as well and this gives us more details about how much was optimized right now i'm only seeing uh 25 files minimized right here or minified nothing deferred uh but it's still working on the side right now it's still uploading next up is going to show us our javascript optimization and this is something i found really really interesting and that is the font optimization a lot of people don't realize that using something like default google fonts uh, especially if you're using font pairings with more than one font could add a significant amount of load time to the website because those font files could be really big this right here automatically converts your TTF and your wolf files to wolf2 right here. And it also does the font subsetting, which is basically removing all the bloat out of the font that's not needed for a website. Next up, it's going to show you some of the other features, other uh, compressions and caching that we have, even the Lighthouse report. And that's what we're seeing over here. So this is going to show you the exact metrics and the changes so you can see what has happened. And again, the speed index. For me, this is the one I really focus on a lot because this is going to determine how quick does a website load. What is the actual user experience like?
And then we got some more information here about what they are doing. You could take time to go through that. Now, next, let's go check out our settings. And back here, this is where we can start to control the optimization. And if something isn't working right, say there is something you don't want cached, a page you don't want cached, or a URL, a path, an image, something like that. This is where we have full control over it. Same thing with the JavaScript. Maybe there is a JavaScript snippet that you can't have minified. It might break something. Well, we could have full control, add in a URL to bypass that JavaScript file so it's not being minified. Then we also have the same thing for our style sheets or our CSS files. We also have more control over our images. Maybe you got an image optimization plugin already added to your site and you don't want to conflict with the two. You could either turn it off here or you could remove that other plugin and, you know, have less plugins on your site, which you guys know I'm a big fan of minimizing plugins. We also have preloading options as well, something that I really like a lot because sometimes we want an image like a banner image to load immediately. We don't want that to to have that layout shift when the website is loading. So we could add those here and then we got control over our fonts as well. And that is it as far as all the settings. Now, there's one thing I think many will appreciate back here, and that is that it's not overwhelming. It gives you options that we need in order to uh, manage our site, to work with our optimization tool, but it's also not overwhelming where it's just giving too much uh, too much information, like something like Lightspeed Cache, which is a great plugin, but at the same time, it could be really overwhelming with all the options that it has. Where this right here has been designed in a way, like I said, it's been, it took three years for them to build this. And I heard the story, it wasn't like a hobby, like it was full on three years. They built it in a way so that way the users don't need to go in and mess with too many settings that everything is pretty much done already let's take a look at the lighthouse report and this is just going to tell you exactly where you're at with the website and this is basically you know mimicking what we're seeing over here inside page speed insights now i want to jump back over to the dashboard because there's a few more things that i do want to share with you i'm going to go over to my sites because this one is Okay, well, already finished, but let me go to a site. This is what I was practicing on last week as I was getting to learn this tool. This is for a fresh new install right over here. And I am going to jump into my settings. And then if I go to my optimization details, check this out. I'm going to go over here and look at this. It's going to say optimized at 14 hours ago. This I actually set up a week ago and haven't touched. What's happening here is that the site is being optimized every single day. Updates are happening every single day. And this is something that like I haven't seen anybody else do. I don't know if anyone else is doing this. But let's say we have something like Elementor. Elementor runs an update and one of their files, one of their JavaScript files, it breaks on the optimization. Well, when they get that error and find that break and they update it, not only does it update for one site, it updates for their entire system. Every single day, there's an optimization happening on the website. And because everything is happening off site, this should not put any strain on the site, even though it is optimizing it on a daily basis. Now, this was quite surprising. I wasn't expecting these kind of results, uh, especially right here with the speed index. This is interesting. I mean, and it's free. That's the crazy part is that this is free. To get started, there is a link inside the description. And just an FYI, use the links inside my descriptions. They do help to support the channel. So it's much appreciated. Real quick, I want to share a final thought with you. And I'm going to keep it real. Because there are some YouTube videos out there showing performance plugins that are one-click solutions, taking an F score and turning it into an A score. But some of those plugins are just tricking the system. They're tricking Google Page Speed Insights. They're really not doing much as far as making that website faster, which is the reason why I focus on the metrics like the actual load time. I want to see that improve because that is what a speed optimization plugin should do. They should not be one of those plugins that are just tricking the system because really it makes no sense to me of being happy about having 
a website that has an A score, but takes 10 seconds to load. And that is not the case here with Airlift. We ran some real life tests inside this video and we saw a significant boost in the actual load time. That is what I'm looking at. And I'm always going to keep it real. I would never showcase a video that is tricking systems because I don't believe in none of that. I believe in doing things the right way. Now, everything I showed you in this video is free. And I got the confirmation from the Airlift team that it's forever ever going to stay free there will be a pro version later in the future but the pro version will only be for newer features not the features that are already existing and this makes me question it i think you should question it too do we need the expensive speed optimization plugins like wp rocket or nitro pack when we have something that basically does it all for free do we really need it should they be worried? I don't know. You tell me. Let me know in the comments. And if you do have questions on Airlift, also drop them inside the comments. I'm sure the Airlift team will be around to help answer any of those questions. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you inside the next one.